YouTube, I am back. Believe it or not, it's been a long hiatus, I know. Um, so today we are going to look at uh, reorganizing our bootloader a little bit, and then we're going to add uh, kind of an initialization step at the very beginning so that um, different BIOSes can run it and it doesn't get confused. Uh, so let's go into... Uh, Okay, so we're in our main, uh, main.asm, and from what we've got here, it's pretty simple, but uh, there's a couple of things that we're neglecting uh, that are kind of standard for writing assembly code. So in assembly, especially if you are uh, using C or C++ as a way to run your assembly code, like as a front end, uh, using linkers and stuff like that. Um, there's three main sections that allow the linker to basically communicate with our code. And we're going to be using a linker eventually when we uh, write our kernel, which is going to be in C. So uh, those linkers, or those uh, sections, are the data section, so dot .data, the text section, or well, in order I suppose, the BSS section, dot .bss, and then the text section, dot .text. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to reorganize our code uh, to this format, uh, and then we're going to add a little piece at the beginning like I said already. So first let's talk about what these different uh, sections do and what they're for. So the data section, let's just uh, go ahead and write it out. Uh, let's add bits 16. Alright, so the data section uh, what that's for is that's for your constant variables. So unfortunately we're not going to be using data or BSS right now because the way it compiles is that it puts it after our magic number down here, um, which is a little weird, but uh, if you try putting like your strings or something up in the data section, when you compile it and you take a look at the um, binary file, you'll see that you know your strings are inaccessible. So it does that doesn't really work, but just for your information, the data section, if you're like um, using C++ as a front end or something, that's kind of where it will find your uh, constant variables. Uh, constants section dot. Uh, and then the BSS section is for mutatable variables or um, variables that can change. Uh, so I'll just say vars, um, and I know the blue on the gray is a little hard to read, I'll change that color scheme, I just haven't done it yet. Um, so actually let's go back up to data, for example, like one way you could do this, like the, the text or the string can obviously be up there, but if you wanted like a, a specific hex value or something, you could say like uh, uh, value uh, eq0 uh, 0x1234. And that would be a constant that would go in your data section. Um, for your BSS section, you'd have something like um, uh, a variable uh, reserve, let's say reserve byte, and we'll reserve eight of them. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so that way then you have 8 bytes reserved for var. Uh, then you can put any 8 byte thing in var. It's that kind of stuff is section dot, uh, the BSS and data sections. Uh, the section we are interested in is the dot text section which is kind of where the m main code happens. Um, and what this is good for is this integrates the entry point. Um, for our code. So to create this entry, 
uh, what we need to do is we need to use global and then whatever we want our main method or our main label entry to be called so we'll just call it main and whoopsies put our label accordingly so now it will it says it reads into the text and it says this is uh, our entry point main is our entry point and uh, that's where we start so now it will run like it always has uh, I just wanted to clear up that little formatting thing so now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, kind of go through the initialization part here we're going to re which is resetting or clearing out our segment registers and then moving our stack pointer to our entry point which would be main so to do that we are going to first uh, make sure that we are are um, we don't have any sort of offset buffer uh, on our um, entry that by the BIOS isn't doing something like that for us so uh, we're going to jump uh, 0x000 uh, so that our buffer is nothing and then uh, um, What should we call this? Um, let's call it zero seg or something. I don't know. So what that does is it ensures that BIOS isn't doing some weird segmenting stuff when it loads us to our 7C00 uh, spot in memory. Uh, so then let's just create that uh, label um, now we just need to cl uh, clear or set AX to 0 and this is something I wanted to talk about uh, it's not a big deal I mean it either way works but there's two ways you can do this you can do the kind of the obvious way that we've talked about which would be move uh, x0 like that and that's fine it works works just fine but there's another way you can do it and it's using xor and what this does is uh, it sets ax equal to the boolean AX XOR AX and what XOR is is it's an exclusive OR so um, what that means is that with, and then with an inclusive OR or just like a standard OR um, you can have uh, one or if you have two situations like two variables A and B A or B would be true if A was true if B was true and if A and B were true, that's inclusive. Exclusive means that uh, A, X, or B is true only if A is true or B is true, not if A and B are true, and likewise not if they're both false. So since AX and AX are at least the same thing, it sets AX to zero. And the reason why you would might want to use that instead of this one we have up here is because this is I think two bytes of code and this is three bytes it's literally just one byte of saved space uh, so it, it's considered better practice but uh, it doesn't really matter I mean it's just one byte I think and like you correct me if I'm wrong I could be wrong in that uh, the exact numbers but I think it takes up it I'm pretty sure it takes up fewer bytes of space so that's why it's it's used instead of the move command. But anyway, uh, so now that AX is set to zero, we can say move uh, SS to AX uh, and just move all of our segment registers to AX. Or not to, but move the value of AX into our segment registers. Uh, and 
8x. All right, so now that's done. Um, we need to set our stack pointer to main or to our entry point. So we'll just move the stack pointer to main. Um, and then uh, we need to call the function CLD. CLD means clear um, direction flag. Um, so it sets the direction flag to zero. What that is, is it controls the order in which we read strings. So BIOS is usually are pretty good about, you know, kind of standardizing. Um, but a lot of what we're doing here with our bootloader is correcting either for legacy stuff that doesn't exist anymore from like 8086, 8088 days, um, or correcting for nuances that different BIOSes might go through when they boot up. So uh, what the CLD does in case some BIOSes will set that flag to 1, some will set it to 0. CLD just makes sure that it's set to zero so that way we read our strings from left to right. You can think about it that way, from the lowest memory address to the highest memory address. If it was one, it'd be from highest to lowest. We don't want that to happen or otherwise everything will be backwards. So uh, that's all that does. And then I forgot about this. Uh, one thing we need to do is up here before we call our jump, we need to uh, uh, get rid of interrupts so that way we don't have interrupt nonsense going on uh, and then reinstate interrupts okay yeah we just don't want interrupts being called while we're moving around our segment registers so it's just a kind of a safety thing um, oh one more thing I forgot to do um, we need to uh, reset our disk. So there might be a chance that BIOS doesn't, uh, or that it kind of, that the disk isn't uh, set to like initialized properly. Uh, so like your initial head uh, and track and stuff like that might not be all zero. So the easiest way to do that is to call our x zero uh, x thirteen interrupt with a h equaling zero. So to do that, it's real simple. All you got to do, let's just uh, push a x. All you have to do is uh, x or a x, a x. Um, and then int zero x 13, pop a x, really easy. Uh, so yeah, that's it. So that just resets the disk. Make sure we're starting everything starting at the beginning uh, for reading our disk, and then we can do this properly down here with our read disk. So yeah, uh, stay tuned in the future. Uh, I will hopefully be posting sometime soon. So yeah, like, subscribe. A lot of you have been requesting um, like resource links and stuff, um, so I'll put that down in the description. Um, anything else I can think of? Nope. I can't, I think, can't think of anything else really. Um, I appreciate the comments. Uh, it's always fun interacting and knowing that at least some people find what I'm doing useful. That's actually really gratifying, even though there's only a few video or a few, few views per video, but, uh, yeah, keep them coming guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.